This is the Craftsman 20 piece VersaTrack system. I'll show you how this uh, gets installed because I did find that on YouTube there weren't any great installations as to how to do this correctly and sometimes the instructions are a little unclear. So I'm going to show you how it goes together if you do it correctly. These are the 20 pieces that you get with the system. You get the two tracks and then you get six of these heavy duty hooks that come with it. And then there are eight smaller hooks. Now you actually have to put the smaller hooks together and I'll show you how to do that because there's no instructions on how to do it. It's pretty straightforward but you might be wondering how they go together properly. And then you have these four end pieces that are just for design purposes. It comes with an assortment of different size hooks. Some big and then some smaller ones. I think there's uh, 14 of them all together. Now the little hooks that you get with it are plastic and they come in two pieces. And there's no instructions on how they fit together but this is what you do. You want to hold it so the Craftsman logo is facing you. And essentially what's going to happen is you take your hook and it has a groove on the top and you're going to put it in there and then these align with those little plastic pieces there. But you'll notice that this has got to snap in um, correctly and tight. So it's a little hard because sometimes you're pulling it doesn't go. I found that if I just um, put it there with this little hook to the left and then I've mounted it there. If I just pull from here, it'll snap in like that and then it's all set to go. And then when you want to use it, you can just move it in and out like that. Sometimes I did find that when you're putting these hooks on, you'd put them here and then you would try to push with your thumb and it was hard. Um, if that's the case, you know, you can basically, the thing is you want to make sure they go below the little ridges that are in there. You can just kind of put it in here and if you wiggle it a little bit or slide it a little bit, but I found that if I just kind of put some pressure and wiggled it, eventually it snaps right in. Most of them will snap in, but some are a little harder, so you just have to apply a little pressure and I put this here to protect my hand, but basically, eventually it snaps in. A little difficult, but not too bad. When you get the metal hooks, um, basically they have a little catch area here and a catch down the bottom, and there's a little latch here that secures it to the track and so there's a little switch here when you first get it and it's open it's turned that way once you hook it on the track then you just turn it up and that holds it in place and I'll show you how that looks take the top hook like that and that's going to go on this and the bottom section will go here and basically you just slide it along and then when you get it in position you just turn this up and then that'll hold it on there. Take it off, you just turn it that way, lift up the back, and take it right off. So with the little hooks, again you take a little tab there, put it on the top, line it in place, and when you're ready, just snap in place. To get them off, you can either just slide it off, but if you just kind of reach under this tab right here and kind of pull up, it'll come right off. These little gray plastic things are just end cap covers, make it look a little bit nice. You'll notice on each one, there is a T on the top and a G at the bottom. You'll notice also that there are ridges on the side. There's two with the ridges on the left and there's two with the ridges on the right, the high ridge sticking up. They're actually installed the opposite of what you see here. With the high ridge being on the left, that actually goes on the right side of your track. And where the ridge is on the right side actually goes on the left side of your track. And I'll show you how that works right now. Here's one where the plastic ridge is on the right. So it's going to go on the left side of your track. But basically you're just going to take it and you're going to turn it so it's facing the track and you're just going to slide it in there and that's how that goes together now the first thing to realize is that when you install these tracks uh, the way they lay out is you notice the Craftsman logo it's on the bottom left you can go ahead and put these tracks side by side or you can make a big wall area and put them together 
Again, what you want to do is make sure the Craftsman logo is at the bottom. And if you're putting them together as a wall, you'll notice there's a little groove down along this area and then the little tongue right there. And basically, you just slide them into the groove, make sure they're aligned properly, and then you can screw it in and then you'll get a wall effect versus going the long way. Okay, when you're mounting this, what you're going to notice that on your track, there are these small little groove lines in between the slats there. And that's where your screws are going to go. There's going to be a screw here and a screw there. Now, screws do not come with this, so you have to buy them. And they tell you which ones to buy in the instructions. But basically, you want to put a starter hole there of using a 1 8 inch drill bit and one there and then you just put the screw right into your stud and you want to go into the stud at least an inch to make sure it's secure. What they say to do is to pre-drill the holes with an eighth inch drill bit and that's what I did and that's kind of matches up with the screw that I chose which I chose a number 10 um, two and a half inch wood screw and basically I'm going to be going through drywall and then wood so my drywall is, you know, about three quarters of an inch thick. You can see there you got a quarter of an inch on the Versa track and then another three quarter inch there. And then when I use the two and a half inch screw, it's going to go through both of those and then into the stud, you know, at least at least an inch, maybe a little bit more. Could possibly have used a two inch screw because the stuff on it is not that heavy. But I had these around and just to make it a little more secure, I I just went with the two and a half inch. This is the uh, garage wall that I'm going to install the Versa track on. <clears throat> As you can see, this wall is unfinished, so it's a little easier for me to find the studs by looking at old screws. But we're going to just use the stud finder just to verify. The first thing I'm going to do is get the approximate height where I'm going to put it, just in general, because I don't want to put it too low and then find that rakes and things hit the ground. So I just kind of put a one of my biggest rakes on there and I'm just going to put it approximately up there so that I can see in this case I have a distance of a, about six inches or so for the floor so in general that's the height that I'm going to put it so I'm just going to mark a, a line just in general and then we'll level it out after that okay so I'm just going to go ahead and find the studs I have a stud finder here and that's showing me that that's one edge of the stud, so I'm marking that there. And that's going to be the other edge. So the stud is basically going to be in this spot here. I'm doing that across the whole wall because I'm going to need about eight feet for the whole Versa track. I've put painter's tape on the wall to mark the edges of the studs, so when I place the uh, screws, I make sure I get into the stud. Put the Versa track on there with a level on top, just. My track line before was about there. I'm going to put the level on it. Mark the spots. They say to come in about three eighths of an inch from the edge. So I'm going to put my first drill hole there. Now I'm just going to put a couple starter holes on the top just to get it in place. So I'm going to take my screw that I'm using and just get it started just a little bit for the drill. I'm using an eighth inch drill bit to put the starter hole in. And I'm going to do the same on the other side where I marked it. Again, I'm, I'm coming in about a, about a half an inch or so from the edge. Now I'm going to use the starter holes to drill holes straight through to the stud.
Now I'm going to put the screw in by hand just a little bit so that I can secure the left side while I level the right hand side. Now that I've leveled the right hand side, I'll put starter hole straight through to the stud. Now I'll be able to tighten up the screws on the right side and the left side and then be able to move forward with the rest of the starter holes. Now that it's secured on the left and right hand side, I'll check the level just to be double sure all across the panel and then I'll be able to quickly go through and finish all the starter holes. Once I drill the holes on the top, I'm using a straight edge just to make sure the top and bottom uh, drill holes are lined up. Now the starter holes are in, I'll drill in the rest of the screws very slow so I don't damage the track. how it is when it's finished there. You really don't need all of those screws, probably one on each end is fine and maybe one in the middle. Uh, they say to go maybe every two feet or so, but I'm not sure exactly how heavy the stuff I'll be putting on is, so just to take advantage of the uh, possible weight, I just uh, put it in. Then you just take your hook bracket, put on the top, and make sure this is horizontal. Put it approximately where you want it to be. Turn this up and that kind of holds it in place. And then you can put your tool on there. And if in this case it's too close to the garage door, slide it to where I want. And then we're in good shape. And now we'll just put on the other one. Putting the second one on was even easier. I just kind of butted them up against each other, put the screws in, and completed the job. Again, the Craftsman is on the lower left, and I did mine horizontally, but if you did yours um, vertically, again, you would start with the lowest one, place that in place, and then start stacking the ones above it. And then you put the caps on the end, just slide them in, give it a nice neat finish. And just put one on the other side, slide it in, nice and neat. And get a nice, neat looking track. and nothing touches the ground from the original measurement and and plenty more hooks to use that's my overview and installation guide for the Craftsman VersaTrack garage organization kit I hope this video helps you thank you for watching